Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So as you guys can see from the title below, this was a super requested video, but today I'm showing you what's on my iPhone. Um, I have an iPhone 4S. I'm really hoping the 6 comes out soon so I can get my upgrade because I haven't upgraded in a few years, but it is just the white iPhone 4S. Uh, my case is from Wildflower Cases. I love it. I'm obsessed with their cases, and it's one of the reasons I don't want to upgrade because I have so many of them, but... It's just, it's time, guys. So basically today I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone. Um, just going through what's on this little guy. And then after that I'm going to have the giveaway for the video, so stay tuned for that. So right now I'm just going to show you what's on my iPhone, so let's go. Hey everybody, so here is my iPhone 4S. Again, my case is from Wildflower. It's just like a pink and blue um, Union Jack with a silver studded cross and I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. So, my lock screen is like a little collage I did of me and my boyfriend. So, yeah, that's that. So basically when you get to my home screen, it looks like this. My background is like gold stars. It's the same as my YouTube banner actually, but I really like it. So I have my phone up, then I have my contacts, my alarm, my camera, my photos, my reminders, my calendar, my notes, my app store, which I apparently have to update three things on, my iTunes, my Safari, my recording, my settings, and then in this folder I just have utility, so I have my WhatsApp app because a few of my friends don't have iPhones anymore. I have my mail, my YouTube account, my Pinterest, my Starbucks apps, and I hate the new Starbucks app. I'm tempted to delete it, but every time you open this one, it's like, do you want to update the new one? And I'm like, no, I don't like the new one. It's stupid. No, I don't want to update. Um, so yeah, the Starbucks apps I have, um, and then I have a Cineplex app, which is our movie theaters here in Canada. I have my Weebly app, which is my website, so I can update it on the go and do things like that. I have my Tumblr. I have my Shazam, SoundCloud, Audible, a guitar tuner for on the go, another guitar tuner, which is just Pro Tuner, and then I have my IMDb little app just because anytime we're anywhere my mom's always like who is that actor what's happening where are they from how old are they where were they born like she's constantly asking me so I just downloaded the app then I have my vine polished the hunt and then I have iTube which is actually a really great app you can um, play a YouTube video and through this app and then you can like close out of that app and the video will still keep playing so if you want to listen to music or something because I don't have Spotify or Pandora or anything like that just because I live in Canada so this iTube is awesome and then I have any tune which is like you throw a song in there like any song you want and it can make it higher or lower so you can sing to it better so I have that in this little I don't know if you can see that but it's like a little phone, the peace sign, and the kiss face. I'm I'm really cool. <laughs> then I have my Snapchat and my Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Claudia with two A's Norris. I recommend you do follow me on Twitter because there might be a giveaway and you might miss it. So this is my Twitter if you want to follow me there. Shameless plug. I know it's happening. It happened. Also, if you want to like follow me on Snapchat, um, you can follow me. It's just Claudia Norris. I believe it's Claudia.Norris16, but if you want to snap me some things and have fun on Snapchat, you can totally follow me there. Um, and then I have my messages down at the bottom, my Facebook, my Instagram, which again, you can follow me on if you want, like, posts from me and want to know what's going on and stuff like that. So my Instagram is just Claudia underscore with two A's. And then on the second page for my first folder, I have a photo folder. So basically in this I have um, Square Ready, which is how I do any Instagram photos with like white borders. And then the pick stitch is how I do any photos that are like nail photos with a colorful border or anything. And then a beautiful mess is the one I always put text over my photo, so a lot of people always ask what text app I'm using, and it's 99% of the time a beautiful mess. And I have Afterlight, um, Cool Symbols, which was just like, um, it just connects me to the internet, but I just saved it, and it takes me to a bunch of different fonts that are fun to caption your Instagram photos when you're trying to have the coolest caption. And then I have PixArt, which, to be honest, I don't actually know what it does, I just downloaded it, and I haven't actually used it. And then I have Frame Magic, which basically does the same thing as PicStitch. My favorite for collages is 
pick stitch. It's just awesome. It's such a good app. The next folder I have is my edit folder. So I have um, Lumi, I have Light Pick, which is awesome. Those are like two where you pick your photo and you like can put cool hearts over it or something like that. A little, little tutorial in, up, in, up in here. But yeah, so you can just put little... That's actually really cute! Oh, he's so cute! But yeah, so you just put little light filters over that in Lumi and in Light Pick. And then I have um, and then I have Layover, which basically is just like an app that you can kind of layer one photo over the other and you can layer um, like text over your photo or something like that. And then I have Pick Collage. Then I have Light Over, which again is just a light filter app. And then I have Photo Editor, which again is another photo app um, light filter <laughs> editor type deal. And then I have Pick FX, which again, you guys, I actually don't know what it does because I've never used it. Basically, that's an app. I don't know why it's on my phone. <laughs> um, and then Hipster is... Hipster, you can make, like, postcards and stuff like that with it. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while. Um, and then I have Reflex, which is just, like, another filter situation. And then I have mirror, which you throw your photo in there and it mirrors it for you. So the next one we have is fonts. Curved text, which is nice for when you do like nail photos and you can kind of watermark right around your nail. And then I have text on photo, which is really cute because it has a font that has hearts over the eyes which I just think is so cute, so I love that one. And um, I have text mask, which basically, as you can see from the little, it needs to be downloaded thing, but basically it you can lay big text over your photos and then have like your photos kind of be the letters, if you know what I mean. And then I have my cameras, which is just a waste of space, but I do. So I have CamWow, I have Hipstamatic, I have Snapster, I have Duomatic, I have Heart Booth, I have Reflection, I have Camera Plus, I have VSCO Cam, I have Instacam, I don't even know why, you guys, I should probably delete all these, but I have a bunch of cameras in case, you know, things get crazy and I need some more cameras. And then I just have my astrology folder. I'm a Virgo and I'm super into astrology, so I have, you know, five different apps for it. But the first one is Love Scopes, then Horoscopes, then I Horoscopes, um, and then just Horoscope, and then Astrology Zones. And then Health, I have um, the Lose It app, which basically it's a calorie counting app. You can add in your exercise, you can add in your food, your drink. It's amazing. I really like it better than my fitness pal because I feel like this has more food options in it. But basically it's really interesting if you track your day and you like put in everything you're eating and everything you're drinking and like drinks will kill you. So that is my biggest tip with lose it. But I just like to count, keep on track sometimes and really good too to put in for your exercise as well to kind of see where you are for the day in that re respect. And then I have Map My Walk, which is awesome because it plays songs while you're walking, so that's amazing, and it actually tracks how far you're going, how fast you're walking every mile, how many miles you walked, um, etc, etc. And then I have Fitbit, which I actually think was, like, in a movie theater, and they advertised on the, like, ads for it, and I thought it would be cool, so I downloaded it, but I've never used it. And then I have Passbook in here for no apparent reason, but I guess it just lives in here. And then I have Pump Up, which, again, was on that same movie theater, like, commercial, and I downloaded it because I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Downloaded this one for, like, um, stretching exercises and stuff, but I've never actually used it. And then I have Blog Lotties, which actually has to be downloaded because it's, like, all dark, but I love this app. It's awesome. My only, like, sadness about this app is that she gives out the calendars for free through email, but you can't get them through free through the app. So I hope she changes that because I would love to get the calendar and the videos on here for free instead of paying for it. And then in my next folder, I have games. So my first game is like the Game Center, which comes on your phone. And then I have It's a Game, which is like Jeopardy, which is kind of fun to play in the car, even though I'm terrible at it. And then I have Ellen's Heads Up. And I have um, Flappy Bat, because I was too late on the bandwagon to actually download Flappy Bird. And my boyfriend has it on his phone, and I became obsessed with it. And so I downloaded Flappy Bat, and I quite like it. I think my high score is like 42. 
Yes. And then the next game I have is Unroll Me, which is kind of like a board game. And, you and then I have Candy Crush, obviously, because I love that game, and who doesn't love Candy Crush? Then I have Flow Free, which I actually talked about in one of my favorites videos. And then Jelly Splash is like Candy Crush, but better. Because and then the last one I have is Rush Hour Free, which is that board game that used to, like, you have the little red car and you gotta get them out of the garage. And, so and then in this last one, this is my utilities folder. So in this one I have my banking app. I have a we two weather apps that I never use because now that you can't, like, pull down and, like, get the weather, I hate that. I just... I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I wish it was like it used to be. Can anyone tell me if you can still do that with a new update? Um, and then I have maps. I have converter units, which is actually pretty handy to have. Um, I have my on-call Volvo app, so if you guys have a Volvo, they have a specific connection to the, like, tow truck companies in your city, unless, they, at least they do in my city, I need roadside assistance, I can call from my Volvo app. Then I have a compass, I have my calculator, I have my account, which is like my phone, my Rogers account, my videos, I have FaceTime, I have Newsstand, I have Musebox, which is like a music app, but I've never used it, and then I have Countdown. I think that is everything. Again, my iPhone is um, a 64 gigabyte and it's really bad because my photos 8,267 yeah that's a problem that is my photo situation and then my music one of 5,041 and that's not even all of my downloaded songs so I have a lot of information on my phone but again I'm hoping to upgrade soon to the 6 if they ever come out with it come on so up. that is what is on my iPhone 4S it's pretty just whatever I'm kind of upset because as I think I said I'm almost out of storage space so it's just ridiculous but I have a 64 gig iPhone and I'm almost out of storage. It's for just mind-blowing. So that's a whole separate issue. But let's get to the giveaway. So because I love my wildflower cases so much, I thought why not get one of you a wildflower case as well. So I got you guys a wildflower case. It is still in its packaging. So I love the way they're packaged. They come in this like little cheetah print wrapping paper and then with a sticker at the front. And I got you guys. It's um, the tie-dye silver cross. I hope this is in focus. Um, it's just so pretty. I have this one. I love it. And I just wanted one of you guys to have it. So it is for a 4S, so you can enter if you have a 5 or if you want to win it or whatever. But it is a 4S just because that's what I have and that's what I thought I would get you guys. So if you want to win this, um, rules are pretty simple. First things first, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. This is for my subscribers, of course. If you guys watched my 2,000 subscriber giveaway, you know that I'm doing like a month-long giveaway situation. But if you want to be entered to win this giveaway, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel is the first thing. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite phone case company is. I'd love to know some other places to get some good phone cases. Um, so leave a comment. And then the third thing, the fourth thing, subscribe like, comment, and then the fourth thing is you have to be following me on Twitter because that's where I will announce the giveaway winner. Um, so this giveaway will be open until Wednesday of next week. Today is Thursday, June 12th, and this giveaway will be open until Wednesday, June 18th. So it's going to be a six-day giveaway, um, just a really quick one, but you will win the Wildflower phone case. Again, you can be anywhere in the world to enter. It is an international giveaway, so you can be wherever in the world. I will send you the case. Um, you have to be over 18 or have your parents' permission to be entered because... I need your address to send you your prize. I will only send you um, one package. And then the last thing, if you want extra entries, you can always like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Um, there's a bunch of other links down below that count. Pinterest, um, Tumblr, my blog. You can always leave a comment on that blog post. Um, that will get you an entry as well. And as always, one entry per person, please, just because I don't want to get too much spam. Since I am a smaller channel, they often get marked as spam if you send too many. So in your one comment, I would love if you put your Twitter handle in your comment with your um, favorite phone case company or favorite. That makes things a lot easier for me and I don't have to go clean out the spam and say, no, it's not spam. You're just entering. So I think that's everything. As always, all of my instructions and links and stuff will be down below. 
I do have to say that I've tried to film this video a few times now, and the last time I filmed it, it was raining, and today it's raining, and it just apparently always has to rain in these videos, so that is something. But anyway, that is it for today. Good luck on the giveaway. Again, the winner will be announced next Wednesday, and I think that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great day when you're watching this. I hope it's not raining where you are. Maybe it is raining where you are. That's cool, too. And I will see you on Monday with a new song music video thing video. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.